now we come to the so in the previous video i have said that national income can grow because of three reason that is increase in output volume increase in price and technological progress now what do you mean by technological progress now suppose in production of x and y you know that there are various factors being used land labor capital or machineries so there are lot of factors which are used in the production process now any of the factors efficiency can increase if any of the factors efficiency is increasing that will be reflected in production for example let us take this x commodity now for making up this x commodity we need land for factory building to set up the plant we need labors for the manual process involved in producing x and we need the machineries because of transforming the input to output suppose if a machine has improved that means advanced machinery is being used so what will happen you know machines can do the work lot more faster so if we are using advanced machine the work delivery will be faster in the same time period we can produce more so that will have an effect on the volume of output so volume of output will increase due to the use of advanced machinery or improvement in one of the factors that means there has occurred the progress in the technique of production or technological progress we can say so if volume of output increases from 20 suppose the production of x becomes 30 so the multiplication of existing price and quantity will give you a higher value because if the economy can generate more output then the expected income from the sale will be much more now this is very simple if i am producing 5 units i will only be able to sell 5 units and earn income but if i am able to sell 10 units produce and sell 10 units i will be earning more income so if the country can increase its volume of production then what will happen with the existing price also without price change the country can get a higher income it can expect a higher income so any kind of technological progress can take place that helps in changing or increasing the volume of output it becomes better when the volume of output increases and the expected national income also increases with it now this technological progress can come from any of the factor for example labors earlier they used to work with manually now suppose they are learning new software skills developing themselves and they can do the work in a computerized way so labors are growing efficient means their productivity will be more their productivity will be reflected in the amount of work done or amount of output produced so any of the factors improvement for example if land quality increases the agricultural production or output will be more so due to any of the three factors of production used the technological progress can come from any of them now this can be divided into embodied technological progress we have to name embodied technological progress and disembodied technological progress now what is the difference between the two now when we can specifically say that the progress is coming due to one of this factor say machine for example when we can specifically say that it is only due to use of advanced machine the volume of output has increased that means we can embody we can understand the cause of the progress so when we understand due to which specific factor the technological progress have evolved or the volume of output have increased that has led to national income rise 
we call it embodied technological progress we can particularly understand which factor has contributed to increase in volume or output thereby growth of national income but suppose we are using modern labors modern land the land is also very fertile or very congenial for the production process and the machinery is also advanced so when we are bringing improvement in all the three and the volume of output have increased can we say that which factors contribution was more which factors progress have affected the output the more no so that's why we call it technological progress have occurred but since we cannot embody or we cannot specify which factors contribution is more because we feel all are equally efficient but in the output production we can see it has increased but we cannot specify for changing which factor the output has increased so much so that's why we can say that technological progress have taken place but it is disembodied we cannot 